And the next day, it's my birthday, 65, 65, then a couple of days. Isn't that a great place to jump up and down, David? And all the sunshine comes there in the afternoon? And that's true. It's, it's nice that the sunshine is there. You know, it's nice. Trust, trust. Have trust. I've got an important concert to play down. Important. Don't be nice. You've got to behave yourself. So people come in all shapes and sizes. Hello, hello, hello. I'm David. Hello, 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 down, hello, down. <laughs> some tea over there. Can I have some for my puppies? Some more tea, the tea, the tea. The chai, the chai, the tea. Tea? Yeah, for my puppies, yeah, can I? Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you want to go look at the view a bit more? Come on, let's go. The things are better now. It's really, 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 well, but don't you need people? Don't you need a good image? I thought you need a good image. Just do what they follow me. Hold a hand and hold a hand. Sure, but we don't worry about that. Look at that. They're going dancing. Or something. Reminds me of 1997. In yeah. remember when we went to Canada? Canada. Uh, yeah, no, we drove. We good. drove from New York up to, uh, to Montreal. Montreal. Montreal the and remember there. all the. Yes, and the taxi driver who didn't stop talking. The taxi driver, the taxi That's right. Yes. So if you like to give me your rubbish. <laughs> 
all the poor people on the bus who've come for a lovely bus tour. Well, is it so atmospheric sort of... Oh, it's quite atmospheric. But who'd want to live in it? Not me. I'd rather have all our sunshine. Hello, so hello. Much. What's your name? So, Sophia. Oh, hello. Are you from here? Oh, good. Hello. Who's this? Who's this? Hello. Ida. You from here? Yes. Oh, good. Taxi. Taxi. Oh, hello, Taxi. Hello. 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 What's your name? Victoria. Victoria. Hello, Victoria. Yeah. Hi. That could be. Will that be English? Well, anyway. Oh, well, anyway, oh, yes. it depends upon that. Hello. David. Oh, hello, David. 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 Being an astrologer and my astrology colleagues in Sydney all knew that someone very important was going to come into my life. So each time I came back from the cruise, they said, have you met him yet? Uh, so when I got on the plane to go to Perth in November of 83, uh, I just knew intuitively that something momentous was going to happen in my life. So. Because of the understanding of astrology, I was able to embrace the situation without fear or trepidation because I knew that the dear planet Jupiter conjuncting my son was bringing uh, a very important relationship into my life. And so when people say, oh, how could you possibly have made this decision? Um, I just knew it was the right one. And that is a huge blessing in life, to know with certainty what you're doing, that is your right path. It wasn't one that I would necessarily have chosen. I mean, David had $200, a cane basket and a worn out radio when we decided to live together. So it wasn't a materialistic decision at all. It was at a friend's house. And he said to me, I'm about to introduce you to the most unforgettable person I've ever met. And in walked David. He just got out of the swimming pool, so he was dripping wet all over the carpet. He rushed up to me and gave me a very wet kiss and said, Hello, Gillian, I'm so pleased to hear you. Like this. You're going to come and hear me play on Ricardo's. You're going to come and hear me play, blah, 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 blah. And I said, well, Yes, David, I'm going to come and hear you play. And so that night I went to the, to the wine bar where he was playing, smoking cigarettes while he's playing, coffee cups around the piano. But I just heard the most incredible, passionate and spontaneous playing. 
And then the next morning he came around again for a swim and he asked me to marry him. So I hadn't even known him 24 hours. Anyway, I didn't quite say yes then. It took a little while longer to get around to it. I knew when I made the commitment to him it had to be for life. It wasn't going to be a trial run to see how we got on. David was very fragile when I met him emotionally, not physically as strong as an ox. Every night before we go to sleep, we just say how grateful we are. I think one of the secrets of life is to be grateful because then your heart is open and you're expressing gratitude and so you're allowing the beauty of love and life to flow into you. I think the world's a bit light on gratitude at the moment and uh, the people who don't experience gratitude are the losers. Goodness me, it's 20 past 12. Now, do we know where David's gone? I had to. You can see him? Oh, I know we won't ever lose him. He'll always come back. Thank you, darling. Thank you, darling. That's very yeah, 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 yeah. Very nice. Thank you, darling. Like silk, like silk, like silk. Thank you, darling. He's very, he's very, very warm. Yeah, he's very kind. Yeah, time, 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 time is money. Protection. All that money. It's your money. Sex passion. Well, is that bread? Is that bread? <laughs> oh, it's bread, 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 bread. Yeah. Oh, thank you. It's all planned. What's the plan? Bye, bye. Be patient. Thank you. Bye, 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 bye. Yeah, yeah. Very nice. She's very good. Yeah, yeah. Do you want me to walk around here? Do you want me to keep walking? What have you got? Oh, that's all right, that's he said yes. He said yes, he said he yes. He said what? Oh, he said yes, he said yes. All right, we won't have an argument, David. But it's pulling your jacket out. Can I hold it? Can I hold it? It's a disco. It's my party, isn't it? That's what I do at the airport. I've got a new trick at the airport. They've got a new trick at the airport. They've a full body search. They did that for me, didn't they? Oh, you're kidding. October 1986, I came to the concert, not the pianist played in Bonn, and David came outside uh, and asked me if I could give him a cigarette. At that time, he and still, still smoked. He still smoked. It was very close to when he stopped, actually. He stopped mm -hmm. one month, maybe yes. later, when he went back to Australia, or Bill and made him stop. And he asked me which, who I was. I said I was a pianist. And I, he asked me which piano concertos I played, and I mentioned like four or five I'd been studying. And it turned out, he said to me, he played exactly the same five. I said to him, David, that's very strange. I meet a foreign person in Bonn from Australia, and we played exactly the same five concerts. And later on, I learned that it was because he was so polite, he didn't sort of want to make me feel small, because he played like at least 40 already at that time. 